Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics! It's time for the end, viewers, the final bonus episode, and the end of the Deep Dungeon. I've rearranged my setup like I'm showing here. We got uh, Move Plus 2 back on Ramza. We don't need Ignore Height for this one. Move Plus 3 back on Krona there. Uh, also, Sunken State. For Taku, I've gotten her with Yin Yang Magic. Uh, let's see, magic to fend up, because magic is really the only thing we're worried about in this battle. Now, I've made a special setup just for this battle for Otaku there. We got the, uh, we want a summoner to learn the ultimate summon in the game. You can only learn it like you learn blue magic spells, so you need a summoner. Uh, we've got MP switch for her as well to help survive it. It, if a spell deals da or anything damages you, it doesn't, it's not just physical damage, trust me. But it'll damage your MP instead of your HP. But it only works your brave percentage of the time. So for her, 64% of the time. So hopefully that'll allow her to survive uh, the summon there. We've also got, if I can show it, hmm, ah, there we go, uh, move MP up. So basically between MP switch and move MP up, we're nearly invulnerable. Because every time I take damage, it'll kill my MP, but I'll move and get some back. Uh, Chantage is my backup plan, just in case, for some reason, I don't survive something. And then, of course, we got Mustadio, ready to find some hidden treasure, some of the best items in the game. So, let's go to the end of the deep dungeon to find them. This one isn't so much tricky, but it is, there, it is well, a little challenging. Not extremely, though. I'm not even going to bring Orlando along. But you do have to bring Ramza along, so... Let's get you there. Sitaku. I want to put my summoner in the back there, so I don't know. Maybe I'll get lucky and he'll use the summon right off the bat. I don't know. We'll give it a try. I'll try new things. What an appropriate way to end the LP. And there's some other things I'll talk about too besides this battle because it is going to take me a while to learn it. Uh, if I can learn it, great. I won't guarantee it though, viewers. I won't promise. I'll at least try to show it off, though. What appropriate music for the final battle, too. Ha! <laughs> hey, how's it going? Well, we already have all of them, except for Vormamp's stones. Will it involve violence? Crap. Well, I thought we already saw all 12 Zodiac Stones. What's going on? Well, there's actually a 13th one in this game called Serpentarius. For boss time! But yeah, there's a 13th Zodiac symbol that only this guy has. I heard there's actually, in real life, there's 14. Uh, including the one from, I think, Final Fantasy IX? What was it called? Officious or something like that? Whatever it is. But anyway, so yeah, there's actually more than 12 besides the common ones that we've heard before, so. Hey, hey, all right, I didn't lose it. Well, not that it would really matter, but it's there. So yeah, get haste going on everyone. Now for this battle, we got to defeat all those Biblos, or not Biblos, uh, a panda guys there. Uh, but also unique to this battle is that we have a guest in our party named Biblos. Nice Final Fantasy V reference there. So, basically, I've got Mustadio set up to find all the items that I want. Just keep him invisible for most of the battle. And I'll just try to kill these guys off one at a time. You gotta be careful for the Apandas, though, because they can cast Bio 2, Bio 3, lots of really nasty stuff. Fortunately, as long as Mustadio's invisible, they won't see him. Now, one thing that I do want to do for this battle contrary to what you might think, I actually want to use Pray Faith on my summoner there. The reason, from what I've heard, I don't know if this is true or not, but I've heard that by using that on her, it makes Illidibs more likely to want to cast the summon on her. She'll be more susceptible to it. I don't, like I said, I don't know if that's true or not, but I figured, well, we'll give it a try. You could also lower your faith so that you would 
uh, take less damage from the summon, but then from what I've heard, he's less likely to cast it. I've only seen the summon once in all the playthroughs that I've done in the game, because usually I don't care to learn it, but, well, I'll, I'll at least try to have, it, have him show it off. If I can learn it, great. If not, well, we'll just pass on it. You basically learn it like any blue magic spell, so I'm just going to keep my... Oh, what are you casting? Anyway. Well, regardless, I'm going to keep my summoner in place for now. Uh, and he's casting Midgar Swarm. Oh, well. I heard that that's a mistranslation for Midgar Zalem. Or maybe the other way around. I don't know. But, uh, can we... Oh, it is your turn. Uh, yeah, you just uh, wait around there. By staying in the corner there, that makes it a lot easier to... Or, for the boss to uh, actually attack her. Don't go too far ahead with everyone, or else Ella Dibs will start trying to walk around and hit you, too. I hope I can kill that guy, so that way he doesn't kill my uh, mediator. That would be nice. Come on, work. Yes! All right. He'll take more damage, but... Oh, nuts. Oh. That didn't do much at all. Your magic stat must suck. Nuts. Well, that didn't work out too well. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to reveal yourself there. We need, uh, yeah, we need Krona to actually kill these guys for us. That would be nice. I hope that doesn't reveal me. Nuts. Nuts! I well, hope MP switch works. Yes! Alright. That only, uh, damaged her MP, so we're okay. Die, sucker. Yeah, that's fairly effective. I still like the spear better, though. I just love hitting my enemies from the other side of the screen. Okay, um, I could paralyze some of these guys if I wanted to. Yeah, nothing too special that I really care about. I could teleport all the way up to where uh, Elodips is if I really wanted to. But, uh, nah. Maybe I should try healing her. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Just because I don't want to get too far ahead and lure Elodips away. Maybe I should have tried attacking one of those pandas. Eh, whatever. Now, like I said, there's some things that I wanted to uh, mention. A lot of people were asking me to show off some glitches and stuff in the game. And I'll be honest, I'm, usually I'm not a fan of showing off glitches. And, well, this isn't going to be an exception. Uh, there is an, uh, a glitch, uh, an item duplication glitch that you can use if you want to to get uh, multiple copies of very rare items like Excaliburs, things like that, that you would want to have multiples of but you can't get otherwise. Unless an enemy throws it at you and you catch it. Let's see, move one tile to get MP back. So now if I take damage again, it'll still just drain that little MP that we got there. Well, that's pretty nice. Uh, hit the guy. Thank you. Just don't hit these guys head, head on and you'll be fine. Hopefully they won't be blocking my path either. Haste it up the ninja. No, not again. Great, we're fighting pandas now. What is this, Miss Pandaria? No. No. That, uh... That looks like a weird idea. Uh-oh. Well, that didn't work out too well for you, did it? I do need to get cheer up on... Well, we got plenty of turns, but still. Why don't you stand pat there for now? Come on. Nuts. Uh-oh. That, that could be bad. Nuts. Well, I suppose you could still learn the summon. Yeah. Um. Um. Well, maybe I can kill the guy. I don't know. Don't know until you try. Well, at least my summoner isn't going to go anywhere. Maybe I can shoot the guy. Yeah, don't get too close to Elodid. You want to back away from him once I kill all these guys. 
There we go. One more to go. Let's see. All the items that you can get, or the treasures that you can get, are right where Elidibs was starting there, in that general area. So that's where I want to get the stadiums to go. Okay, well, we took care of all those guys. Let's back away. And if I can't get them to use the summon, like, soon, then, well, I'll have to get it off screen. Well, at least I can move. Yeah, I want to get... What are you doing? Oh, nothing, I guess. Oh, right, you, uh, had poison. Okay. Run! If you get a whole bunch of characters bunched up, that might improve the odds of him actually using the Zodiac Summon. But, first things first. Let's see, I hope I'm close enough. I should be. Where is it? I could also use Stigma Magic to cure that Poison Frog status. Or Asuna. I thought about giving Taku the... Uh, what is it? The Auto... What was that one? Oh, the White Magic. To help out with this battle. But, uh, nah. Now, I want to get my Summoner up there if I can. So that way... Maybe he'll cast the Zodiac on I'll get the items, well, eventually, just not right now. Yeah, why don't you just stand that? Fortunately, this guy is not very fast. Unfortunately, Biblos seems to like being suicidal. Well, if he dies, he dies. What are you going to do now? Yeah, nothing. That's what I thought. Okay, well, I'm going to uh, try and get this summon off screen or something like that. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Hopefully, I'll learn it. Damn it. Yeah, MP switch didn't kick in, so it didn't work. Oh, well. At least you saw it, though. So, now we just gotta, uh, get everything back on track here. I, I kept, uh, Krona and Stadio out of the way so that at least, well, they can do something. But, uh, or they can survive so that way we can, well, revive. So, okay. Well, I've got Mastadio's, uh, let's see. I've got his, uh, Brave at an appropriate level to get all the items that I wanted. So hopefully I'll be able to, well, survive, or yeah, get up there and get up to the top and get all the items that I want. So let's, uh, well, I suppose it doesn't matter. You do have MP switch, but still. Hopefully Elidibs will just ignore Mistadio. This guy does have a lot of HP, so. I want to be a little careful. I think he's got like almost 3,000 HP or something ridiculous like that. Yeah, let's uh, use revive there. You got to be on the same height as the other character you're using revive on. Fortunately, everyone that I care about has haste on them because I used uh, the Masamune again off screen. Oh man, hopefully he won't use... I hope he doesn't use Zodiac again because he could probably kill my entire party with it. Let's uh... See, do you need HP? Yeah, you need HP. Well, do what we can with what we got. Okay, now run away! Get out of there, Ramza. Get out of there! Just use your Midgar Swarm again, please. Nuts, he's using it again! Ugh. Well, maybe my summoner can learn it this time. Wow, this place looks weird. Uh, let's see. Well, I can get... Okay, where is Zodiac hitting? I can get Krona out of the way, but Ramses is going to get hit with it again, too. Nuts. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to... Actually, if you go right there, I think you'll stay out of range, won't you? Uh, yes, you will. Okay, there we go. No, no. There we go. Stay right there. And, uh, Mustadio, you're going to have to, uh... 
Keep going for the treasure. Go for the... Oh, right, you're gonna... If they die, that could be bad. Why didn't the chantage work on my summoner? Huh. Earlier, when she died. Hmm. Well, hopefully something will work this time. Yes! All right, there we go. We got the summon. Woo! Okay, let's just go all out now. Or, well, maybe not all out, but, uh... Oh, right, I want to revive Ramza. Oh, did Biblos die? I hope not. If he did, well, that's too bad. Let's see. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. And, uh, I still got a chance. Yeah, just keep going. Keep going, Mistadio. You can make it! But yeah, all the... Well, let's see if I can use it now. Oh, right, I can't because it, it costs 99 MP. It is ridiculously costly. So, okay, now we can try and spread out. But you see, that's how MP switch works. Now, the thing is, is that you have to be... Uh-oh. Um, let's see, Mistadio does get a turn. Yeah, he can get there in time if I try hard enough. I can't use my revive ability, though. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, I can. Can you get up there? Yes, he can. Okay, uh, Krona can do the job. Um, but I do want to kind of spread out. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go over 20 minutes for this episode if I have to. I don't care. I want to keep this in one episode. But, well, I've done almost everything that I think I need to do. So let's see, if I stay there, that should be close enough. Yeah, yeah, that ought to do. I would like Biblos to stay alive, because Biblos uh, has a pretty good attack against this guy. Let's see, okay, we're almost there. Now I can get any of the treasures that I want. Ooh, nice. Uh, let's see. Let's go for this one first, if I can. Yes! The Chirijiradin! The ultimate draw-out skill in the game. So, let's have Ramza show it off. Well, now he, I hope he can't use Zodiac on everyone. I think that's just Midgard's swarm. Nuts. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. Okay, yeah, he stopped using the summon. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay, so let's show it off. Why not? Chirijiradin. I've already learned the ability, so. Ooh, and I got the quote, too. Nice. Oh. Game? That was the only one I could get. Oh, well. But, yeah, I mean, that's essentially what it is. There's one more item that I would like to get. That is, if I don't kill this guy first. So if I can get it, that would be nice. If I can't, well, it's not the end of the world. Hmm, maybe I can get at least slow on him. But it would... No, it wouldn't hit Krona. Okay. Well, at least I'm in range. I would doubt he's immune to slow, because, just like Final Fantasy IV, no bosses are immune to slow in this game. At least not to my knowledge. Although, actually, I was fighting, uh... Barbariccia in Final Fantasy IV on the PSP recently, getting that LP ready. And, uh... When I tried using slow on her right at the beginning, it didn't work. Oh! Did he just kill himself? <laughs> he killed himself! Okay, well, there was one more item that I could have gotten up there. The Chaos Blade. I think it has like 50 attack power. It's a knight sword. It is ridiculously powerful. Could have gotten that, but oh well. I did show off Zodiac. I learned it. And I showed off Tira Jaradin, so I think that's good enough. Uh, I think the only other thing that I could have meant done for the LP, and I'm not going to. Oh, we can get Biblos in our party. Nice. But yeah, um, I could have done more with monsters and poaching and all that stuff, but really, I'll be honest, it just doesn't interest me at all in the game. I mean, it's just, it's virtually like a whole other 
mechanic to the game, and that, that would just require a lot of extra time to go into, and honestly, I'm not in, interested. Uh, if I can find something, like a document or something that goes over it, maybe I'll link it in the video description, uh, I'll see what I can do. So I'm glad that you guys seem to have enjoyed this Let's Play of Final Fantasy Tactics, and yeah, I'm glad to see that you guys are uh, interested in watching tactical RPGs for LPs, so uh, what I'll try to do is I'll try to... Well, I'll consider other ones. If you got suggestions, let me know. A lot of people suggested, uh, I think it was Shining Force, or uh, what was that other one? Uh, Fire Emblem, Disgaea, Valkyria Chronicles. I think that was the one, what it was called. So, yeah, a lot of you guys have suggested it, but if you got other ones, uh, let me know. I mean, the Tactics Advance games, uh, honestly, I've heard pretty bad things about those. But, uh, well, I might give it a shot someday. I mean, I'm not going to just start doing tons of tactical RPGs, but, you know, maybe every now and then. I won't be nearly as averse to doing them as I have been in the past. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I had making it, and I will start my next main LP soon enough, viewers, soon enough. Uh, probably not tomorrow, but sometime this week. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!